In this lesson, we're doing some work on picture graphs. In this graph, we have boxes of apples sold at Fred's Fruits. We have one little thing here that one apple is equal to 20 boxes. This is known as a key. In January, February, we've got so many apples shown. In March and April, a certain amount. Ooh, one looks like it's been cut off there. May and June. July and August. September, October and November, December. In part A, how many boxes of apples were sold in January, February? Well, in January, February, looking at our key, each apple is worth 20 boxes. 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160. So we've got 160 boxes there in the Jan Feb period. Part B How many boxes of apples were sold in March April? And there's the March April. Well, each apple is worth 20 boxes, but you can see there that we haven't got a full apple. We've got half an apple. So if a whole apple is worth 20 boxes, well, half an apple will be worth 10 boxes. Okay, so let's start counting. That's a whole apple, so that's 20, 40, 60, 80, and that's worth 10 more. So 80 and 10 is 90. So 90 boxes for the March April period. How many more boxes were sold in the first half of the year than in the second half? Well, let's work out firstly the rest of the periods. Okay, in May, June, each apple, don't forget, 20 boxes, 20, 40, 60. Let's write that down. In July, August, 20, 40. Okay, so let's write the 40 down. September, October, 20, 40, 60, 80. So let's write the 80. And November, December, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. Hmm, and then half an apple, that's worth 10 boxes, so 120 plus 10 is 130. So going back to the question, we're comparing the first half of the year with the second half. So the first half, okay, as shown on the diagram there, let's write down the numbers required. The 160, the 90, and the 60. Let's write them down, and we're going to add them up. So when we add them up, we find that we get 310 boxes altogether there. Now what about the second half? All right. So the second half, there's our working. The numbers required, 40, 80, and 130. Let's write them down, and we need to add them up. When you add them up, we get 250. So how many more boxes? Well, we're comparing 310 with 250, so we want to find the difference. Okay, We, we would subtract, and the difference is that the answer is that we get 60 more boxes sold in that first half of the year. Excellent. Well, that concludes.